Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2025 ski test. We've got a Head Core 97 for you today. A really good example of kind of that mid-fat all-mountain ski that's just skirting the edge of entering the free ride realm. Once these core skis go to the 103 millimeter width, there is more of a change in terms of the rocker and the taper, uh, but the construction remains the same. And as such, this uh, ski returns structurally unchanged for this year as well. We do get a slight graphic update, but the Core 97 returns unchanged from a construction standpoint, which uh, I think a lot of skiers are happy about because this is a rare and unique build that blends lightweight and high performance better than most other skis out there, especially if you're looking for a lighter weight ski that is, is highly mobile, agile, and precise. So this is built with a lightweight Karuba wood core. We do get two sheets of carbon as well, a flat one on the bottom and then a curved one on the top. The curved one does a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to uh, the flex of the ski. So anytime you're curving um, material like carbon or fiberglass, or putting it in a, a three-dimensional format, you are adding that additional uh, layer of stiffness to the ski. So you're getting a very consistent and stiff flex from tip to tail in this Core 97. Uh, we do have damping layers uh, to kind of cushion the blow. Carbon can be a little bit harsh if it's left unattended. So by putting damping layers, putting a nice structural top sheet on the ski, those things go away to kind of reduce the ping of the carbon and keep it quiet and feeling like more of an upscale ski. Uh, you know, it feels like it should have more weight to it, but it really doesn't. 1,611 grams here and the 170. So that's pretty light and you're just getting that, uh, the benefits of mobility and agility and maneuverability that you don't get from heavier skis. Um, you do have to be a little bit more technical in order to benefit greatly from it. Uh, you want to have a little bit of power to get the ski up on edge and bent. If you can't bend it and you get it up on a high edge angle, it can feel a little bit cumbersome. If you're happy with a, a shallower edge angle and quicker turns and keeping the ski flatter, it's super fun, really mobile, great for the bumps in the trees in that regard. If you want to lay it over and make a carved turn, you do have to have a good skill set or some weight behind you in order to make it flex and access the entirety of that side cut, uh, which is pretty short actually. 170, we're at looking at a 15.3 meter turn radius. So that's kind of bordering on a, like a wider front side ski in terms of an arc, uh, like that mid-range carving shape. Uh, so you can benefit from making these beautiful short carves on this ski, uh, just so long as you have the technique uh, to kind of keep up with uh, the energy and the zest of the carbon. Uh, and then at 97, you know, it's, it's versatile. Um, it carves like a much narrower ski, uh, but it also has a little bit flatter camber than the narrower core line, uh, and that's gonna make it a little bit easier to maneuver uh, when you get in softer snow little bit longer of a rocker profile than the narrower skis in the line as well. And then that taper's brought slightly down. Not too much, but enough to make this shovel nice and floaty. And then that tail, uh, pretty round overall in that shape, and that taper's brought in again. So it's kind of shortening the effective edge and creating that shorter turn radius, uh, which allows for those, uh, those shorter arcs. And then a little bit of tail rocker here, not a ton. I think it works well with what the ski is designed to do. Uh, once you get to the wider skis, you're, you're definitely getting more rocker, so that's gonna be better for pure flotation. Um, but for kind of what you'd expect out of a 97 underfoot, we're not dealing with waist deep snow here, so we don't need outrageous rocker and taper. We just need enough to kind of make it interesting while not taking away from the on-trail performance of the ski. So in this 97, it's just really well balanced. Um, it's able to kind of go back and forth between different snow, uh, snow types, terrain choices, uh, anything you can think of, uh, this ski will do it and it will do it very naturally and intuitively. I think it's pretty impressive how well these core skis work uh, both on and off trail. And as long as you have kind of that certain skill set or the ability to push and drive a ski, 
you're gonna benefit massively from uh, this lightweight performance. So make sure you check out this Headcore 97 here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.